plastic vacuum. A uh, common question we get here is people call in for parts or bags. Um, they'll say they need a bag for a blue Hoover or they need a part for their purple Dyson. Uh, that's very hard for us to determine what you need and we're going to ask you for a model number. Uh, the way you find the model number is most all vacuums, they have a sticker, it's usually silver. You can find it on the back or bottom of the machine. So I'm going to show you a few places to find the model numbers. So different types of vacuums, we have canister vacuums. Uh, canister vacuums are the type with the hose. Uh, typically the canister has a model number on the bottom of the canister unit, sometimes the back, but usually the bottom. You can see here there's a silver sticker with the model number on it. The power head, which is the part that sweeps the carpet, also may have its own model number, um, normally on the bottom here, sometimes on the back. So you see this one has a silver sticker right there on the bottom. Upright vacuums, again, they usually put them on the back or bottom of the machine. On this Lin House machine, they have a lot of stickers. Uh, the model number is found here on the back. Other vacuums may have them on the bottom part here or even on the side of the machine. One of the hardest, one of the hardest vacuums to find the model number is on the shark. They don't put it on the bottom, they don't put it on the back, they kind of hide it. Uh, not only do they hide it on the machine, here it is behind the tool on the back of the canister, uh, but they also hide it in the sticker. So if you look here real close, uh, the model number is found on like the third line. This is an MV801. It's very hard to read. All right, if that's how you can find the model number. If you can get us the right model number, we can get you the right parts. And as always, you're welcome to bring in your vacuum and we're happy to take a look at it for you. Thanks guys.